I'm graphing vector fields, and this is a two-dimensional uh, for two-dimensional vector fields. Uh, the first question is saying uh, a of x and y is x plus y and x minus y. So I say do a few test points. Um, just have different x and y in there and see which one matches x and y and what point it gives. So that, for example, if I give 0 and 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. So I get that um, there is no, uh, basically, a, a vector 0 is the output. If I put the input, let's say 1 and 0, 1 plus 0 is uh, 0, and uh, 1 and 1 minus 0 is 1. And how about 0 and 1? It's the other way around. 1 plus 0, uh, 0 plus 1 equal to 1. Uh, 0 minus 1 is a negative 1. Um, and then all sort of points, you can do negative 1 and 0, plug it in, you get negative 1 and negative 1. You can put in 0 and negative 1. And um, this time around, you get uh, negative 1 and 1, and uh, so on and so forth. Now, I go back in, uh, in any of those and see which one is a better possibility. So at point zero zero, I should have uh, uh, basically nothing going on. Let's say at point 1 and 0. Um, I should have a 1 and 1, which looks like this a little bit. At point 0 and 1, I should have a little vector looking like that. Um, let's say 1 and negative 1 is, and that's the vector that sits on that point. At 1 and 0, um, here, 1 and 0, right there, I should have um, this shape. At zero, I should have nothing, and at and zero and negative one at one, zero and one, I should have uh, the shape coming down. At negative one and zero, negative one and zero. Uh, what is the shape of this one? Negative one and negative one, negative one for x and negative one for y. Starting from zero, it looks like that. And then let's say at 0 and negative 1, it should be negative 1, 0, and negative 1 right there. And this is negative 1 and 1, looks like that. Um, and so negative 1 and 1, it looks like that. And let's see which one of these uh, look more like that. Um, definitely. Oh, there we go. There we go. So here, I have that, I have this, and I have this shape, and I have that shape. They're all um, working. So D should be the answer. And so to be completely accurate, you have to do a few more to make sure that it does look like what you drew here. Uh, and for the rest of them, again, you do the same. Um, if, if Y is positive, then the first component uh, goes in a positive direction for X. If y is negative, the first component goes to the negative direction for x. Uh, and, and the y value, the second component of the vectors, are all the same. They're all in a positive 2 uh, direction. And that will give me a, and that's the b in here. Um, for this one, uh, the second component depends on x. Therefore, if x is positive, and the direction for y is going to be in a positive direction. If x is negative, uh, the direction for y is going to be the negative direction. And again, uh, 
the y component is going to be negative direction. x component is always 2. So that would be c. And then what is left is that one. And I can see for x equal to negative 2, uh, the x component of the vector is going to be 0. And you can check a few more points and you get a. So basically, what you are not very comfortable with, you find a few points on them. If you're comfortable with them, like um, shapes, the, the functions like that, uh, vector functions like that, you um, go with uh, a generalization that we did uh, in here, basically.